it is official, this building right here will be the new Universal Studios store. Let me tell you, I'm really excited for this thing. This is going to be a big store. Today's journey is going to start over here at Universal's Islands of Adventure. Let's go have some fun. They have placed these new signs out in front of the theme park for early park admission just to show that it's only for AP passes only and on-site hotel guests. What is up everybody? It's Joshua and I'm back with another video. Hang on. So this is why Riley stopped me from filming my intro. But here is some VelociCoaster merch. Man, this is just getting me excited for the ride. Because that just means it's this much closer to opening. They already have the merch out. It's crazy. So here's a shirt with like all the facts on it about the ride. And then here's a jacket. It's a really, really soft jacket too. They have a little pop figure of blue. Man. Are you gonna ride this roller coaster when it opens? Maybe, you might. You might. And they even have some masks. One is of blue and then one of is just of a normal Velociraptor. What is up everybody, it's Joshua and I'm back with another video and today we are here at Universal Orlando Resort. We are starting our day off actually at Islands of Adventure. Normally we start over at Universal, but today we wanted to switch it up a little bit. And let me tell you, it is so dead today. There's nobody here, which is good. I mean, it's a Monday, but the way the, the parks have been going is it doesn't matter what day of the week it is or if it's a weekend, it's still super, super busy. But we don't really have much planned for the day. It's kind of just going to be a fun, no plan day. I know Riley wants to go try some of the Mardi Gras food because, well, she hasn't done a food festival with me yet, and she's really excited to try some of the food here. So we're definitely gonna go do that. We're gonna check out some more VelociCoaster stuff because I'm just so excited for this ride to open. I just wanna go keep looking at it. And I decided to bring y'all along with me. And I'm finding that by myself because Riley's finally, finally here. I know it's been like four or five videos since she's been here last. But VelociCoaster is testing right now and I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. If you guys are ready to go on this journey with me, well, let's go. Well guys, what an awesome way to start off the videos with some VelociCoaster testing. This will be my second official time watching it test. And let me tell you, the way it looks from this angle over here in Seuss Landing, it looks amazing. I didn't even know there was gonna be a loop like that down towards the water. Wow. I do wanna mention though, it is a very, very hot day today, but the weather kinda of can't make up its mind cause it seemed like it was gonna rain when we got here. But now it's super sunny and hot, so. That might be keeping people from coming. That's why it's not so busy. Because I don't know whether it's going to rain or not. And Volcano Bay is open now. So a lot of that crowd has went over there. Which is fine. Because I'm not a huge water park person. So. It's a sight in the wild. But Merlin's beard we did see Bixie, Scroots, and Unicorns. Oh, and I'd be grateful if you didn't mention any of this to anyone back at Hogwarts. Alright, so our first ride was Hagrid's. It said it was a 45 minute wait. I think we only waited like 25 minutes. So that was a success. Now I think we're on to Forbidden Journey. We're going to try to do everything over, or pretty much everything over at this park first. And then finish off over at Universal so we can do uh, Mardi Gras. It looks like the stage is behind walls. So there is no shows until further notice. I don't know what happened. Because the last time I was here, stage was up, not behind walls. There was a show going on. I don't know what happened. Guys, it's true. 
This will be the entrance to Velocicoaster, opening summer of 2021, but I anticipate this coaster will be opening a lot sooner than expected. But you know, all we can do is wait and just be ready for it. So when I was here last, I said that this was gonna be the exit of the ride, but as you can tell from the sign, well, at least how it's pointing now, this will be the entrance. You got the two Velociraptors here. Then I believe you're just gonna turn the corner and you see the archway with the other two Velociraptors and the flames. And then you'll be able to experience this ride. Man, I'm so excited. back down. So far, the only thing left standing of Blue Man Group is this sign here and this billboard sign. And all of this stuff is gone. No more Blue Man Group signage anywhere. The building in the back is painted completely blue, so there's no pictures of the Blue Men. And the sign saying Blue Men Group is not even up anymore. This is so, so sad. So we've made it over to Universal and it looks a little bit busier over here, but I feel like this park is always kind of a little busier just in certain areas because it's smaller. But we're going to grub down on some Mardi Gras food. I'm gonna let Riley check out the trivia store because she still hasn't checked that out yet. And we're gonna ride some rides and just have a good time and finish off the night here. See? Islands of Adventure did not look like this. It is definitely busier over here. But I wonder if it's because of Mardi Gras happening. But still. So as you guys know, we can't film on the Universal rides. So I gotta put you away for now. I'll see y'all when we get off.
we got a Bavarian pretzel with spicy mustard cheese sauce. And then Riley's gonna say this one because I've been trying to say this for the past three clips now. It's a pork schnitzel slider, fried pork cutlet, spicy mustard, braised red cabbage, and Gruyere cheese. And it comes with chips. And Man, this fun. looks good. And it's on a pretzel bun. What? Well, we're gonna try this. And first off, this is bigger than the bun, so. I have to figure out how I'm gonna pick it up. Like, look at this. This is crazy. Let's try it. Mm. That's really good. I didn't get a bite of everything though. <laughs> but let's try another one. It's messy, but what food is good that isn't messy? None. None at all. That's really, really good. I like it. Alright, well I'm already sad. The pretzel's hard, but it's soft on the inside, so maybe that'll make things better. But, here we go. That's actually really good. Yeah. Good. Let's try without the sauce. Take a look on it. Wow, I get distracted by it. It was like, squirrel! Where? So Riley was disappointed in the pretzel. Unfortunate. But I want her to try the pork sandwich now. You ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. The pretzel, that's so sad. Let's get a comparison to your head. <laughs> that's such a big sandwich, even for your small hands. No, not for you. <laughs> I mean, does it have good flavor at least? I mean, it's just not for you, but. I like cabbage. I don't like that cabbage. Everything else. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> you've heard it here, folks. <laughs> Riley don't eat anything. All right, so this time around, I got something from the Bahamas, and it looks delicious, but the only thing, oh, look, there went my line. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I'm not happy about is there's peas in it, and I don't like peas. But we're gonna try it. It is jerk chi It's jerk chicken. It's jerk marinated chicken, rice and peas, and scotch bonnet salsa. Okay. But the peas look like beans. They don't even look like peas. Yeah. So it just might be. A I don't know. We're we're gonna try it. I don't think it's and we're gonna see if I like it. And hopefully I do, because I love jerk chicken, so I don't wanna be like, I don't wanna be disappointed. Mm. Mm. That's so, so good. <clears throat> but, that spice is one of those punch you in the throat spices it it hits the back of your throat so like you can enjoy it and it's not I think it's to be honest with you I think it's coming from the salsa and obviously the chicken because there's jerk chicken but the salsa I think has a extra bite to it but man mmm that is probably not gonna lie this is gonna be one of the best things I've had here and I really loved the Puerto Rican food, but my favorite food is tropical food. And man, I just can't stop eating. 
Mm. Wow. <clears throat> and to think I wasn't gonna get it because of the peas. I don't even taste the peas. Ooh. D delicious. Alright, it's Riley's turn to try. See, these are the peas that I'm talking about. They're yeah. like Yeah. They're like beans. Yeah. But I don't, I don't like spicy peas. Oh so well it's a kick in the have water. Yeah. You're probably not going to even try the chicken, are you? Because you don't really like meat. Why'd you knock the meat off? That's really hot. It's really good. <laughs> I just think I had a, like, a lot of the seasoning on my... But it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll check on you in five minutes and see how you're doing. Well, that cleared my sinuses right up. Alright, so we ended up going to the Belgium booth and the Canadian booth. From Canada, we got the poutine. I, I love is, poutine. I love poutine. It is and a beef short rib poutine, crispy fries with short rib cheese curds and demi glaze. And then we went over to the Belgium booth and got, you know, a Belgium waffle. Yeah, but it says it's a Belgian liege waffle. A, uh, a Belgian Sweet liege, liege waffle with strawberries, whipped cream, and chocolate. Ooh wee! Alright, well I'm gonna try the poutine first because, well, like I said, I love poutine. So, let's give it a go. Now the poutine I had over at Epcot was was decent, but I always seem to get cold food over there. I have not liked any of the food I've gotten at Epcot for any of the festivals yet, and it saddens me, but let's try this. <clears throat> wow. Mm-hmm. That is so good. And what I'm finding more and more about Universal is their food is so fresh. I don't feel like I have to worry about not getting fresh food. Riley's arm is in my shop. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanted to try But anyways. Yes, this is delicious. Universal, please do more food festivals. <laughs> Universal, please do more food festivals because you guys know what you're doing and your food, really, really good. All right, Riley, you go. I'm just gonna enjoy the cheese. It is a lot better than Epcot. It is. Um, it's different though. Like I. No, it is different. Yes, it has. This is um braised pork. pork. Yeah. But I'm saying it's still fresher than Epcot's. I always seem yeah. to have a problem I think with like Epcot's. Um, well, Epcot's poutine is year round. Like they always have. I know, but it, so but it should be fresh. Their cheese curds. Um, God, she's beautiful. <laughs> um, Sorry, uh, Marilyn Monroe just walked by. I know I'm just in the background saying, "God, she's beautiful." Not <laughs> for. But anyways, what about the cheese? Um, I've cut cheese taste like it was frozen. Yeah. Or they make it in the morning and it's yeah. just in a cooler all day. Yeah. This tastes like it was made five minutes ago. Right. Here we go, it's good. Right. I want my waffle. Alright. Right, so Riley says that I try everything first, so I'm gonna let her try the waffle first. I need a knife. I have a knife. <laughs> a little bit of everything. This is the best thing I've tried all day. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good because I saw him pick them up from a warmer and I was afraid it was going to be kind of hard. 
It's really soft. The pretzel is fun. That is yeah. really good. Alright. Which means it's my turn to try the waffle. Let's go. It's okay. Um, the chocolate drizzle or whatever it is, is kind of too sweet for me. I don't know. Let me, let me get like one more taste. Cause something was like really sweet you, to me. If you get the little like divots of the waffle, yeah, you get a lot of chocolate syrup only because they really fill the divots. Yeah. So that could have been Yeah, I mean it, it's good. I like it, but I don't know. It's not horrible. I just don't think I have a real feeling about it yet. I have a but, feeling about it. Okay. Well, it's good. Would I get it again? Yes. Probably. By myself, would I get it again? No. Because yes. I don't think I'd eat it all myself. But if I have Riley with me or somebody with me, I'd get it. So you can have one there. All righty. Thumbs up. So I wanted to walk back here and see if it's true. My childhood's just getting ripped away from me. There is no more Barney anything back here. It's so sad. Like, statue is completely gone. No more Barney. This is so sad. It's like my childhood is just getting ripped away from me. But this fountain, all the proceeds go to give kids the world. And there are still some coins in here. This is very, very sad. And the stage where Barney once played is now roped off. Dark and sad. Let's go take a ride on ET. Oh, Mardi Gras, at least for today. We might come back off camera, no video, and finish up the rest of our lanyard because we still have like five punches left. But all the booths close around 4.30 because the park closes at five. So unfortunately, I mean, we tried a lot today, but I wanted to try just one more thing, but it's okay. I think we're going to finish off with Shrek, and then we're gonna call it for today at Universal. Well guys, that's gonna do it from us here at Universal Orlando Resort Islands of Adventure. I had a really good day. The best way to start off this video was the Velocicoaster testing because I knew nothing about it. And when I'm telling you they ran it more than I've seen it run, they were running every single car today back to back to back all day long from pretty much the time we left. Cause they were still doing it yeah it was like they were doing an open to close run as if it would have been busy busy right which is good because if they don't do it then they're gonna have another hagrid's problem yeah they'll break down all the time yeah but anyways i had a really good time i we, definitely enjoyed we did the, see it break down once they um, yes there's a launch going towards um river adventure and it did stop there I don't yeah. know if they, and they had to back made it, it up. break down, but they did have it back up and relaunch. Yeah. So, But overall, I had a really good time today. Did you have a good time? I know it's been a while since you've been to a theme park with me. Yeah, I had a good time. Yeah. How about Mardi Gras? Um, I really liked that waffle. Uh, yeah. I think we still have like five more. So, yeah. try some. But I definitely think I enjoyed the food today a lot more than I enjoyed it when I was there last. But I think it's just because it's the food that I tried, which is okay. Like the Cuban sandwich was amazing and stuff, but this stuff was just top notch. I really, really enjoyed it. And for it to not be busy today was so good because 
I'm telling you, when I've been going during the week, it's been just as bad as going on the weekend. So to see it kind of slowed down today was incredible. Hagrid's was, it said it was listed at a 45 minute wait. It was We only waited, minutes. yeah, like 20 minutes. Um, Mommy said, forbidden or journey Forbidden Journey said it was 45 we or 50. We waited like, we waited maybe 25, 30. Yeah. And then um, the mummy was listed as a 15. It was a walk on. Yeah. So was what else? Oh, um, E.T. was listed as a 15, and that yeah, was a straight we, walk on. Yeah. Like, as soon as we finished walking through the queue line, we sat down. Yeah. But anyways, overall, a really good trip. I'm excited that I'm back at the parks with Riley a little more. I don't know how much more often it's going to happen, but... We will be going to Disney towards the end of March for her brother's birthday. So that, that'll be fun. That, that'll be fun because we will be doing Epcot and Magic Kingdom. And if I feel the need that I need to go to a different park, we will do that later on. But that's just the plan, those two parks. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I mean, these journeys are only getting better and better we're gonna have a long one coming up me and rather going to tennessee for a week and two days i believe we're going to stay in pigeon forge we're doing dollywood we're doing i mean we're doing horseback riding we're doing caves we're doing hiking we're doing so much and that might be all, a bunch of separate videos or one big video but i hope to do some separate videos so you guys can keep keep up with what we're doing but overall that is going to do it for today's journey. Please subscribe. Please like. Please comment. And I'll see you on the next journey. Peace.